2024 Volvo XC40 Recharge Single Motor, Exploring Efficiency and Range Advantages. During its initial three model years, the Volvo XC40 Recharge Luxury Electric SUV was solely offered as a dual-motor all-wheel drive variant. However, this changed with the introduction of the rear-wheel drive 2024 XC40 Recharge Single Motor model. Despite its reduced power, this option provides increased range and slightly faster charging times. As of the 2025 models, the entire lineup is scheduled for a renaming to EX40. The electric crossover market has experienced consistent expansion in recent years, facing heightened competition not only from luxury brands, but also from mainstream automakers. Thus, it's crucial to assess how the top-tier 2024 Volvo XC40 Recharge Ultimate Single Motor variant performs in our rigorous testing procedures. Is the 2024 XC40 Recharge single motor geared towards sportiness? It certainly seems inclined in that direction. Volvo equips the rear-wheel drive iteration of its stylish electric SUV with staggered wheel setups reminiscent of sports cars. The front wheels, clad in 20-inch tires, are paired with 235-width rubber, while the rear wheels boast beefier 255s. Although our testing indicates that the XC40 Recharge single motor could potentially excel in our skid pad evaluations, the presence of unbeatable electronic aids hampers the thrill factor. To overcome this limitation, we pushed the crossover SUV into the test at higher speeds and gradually reduced velocity to conform to acceptable limits. In terms of acceleration, our fastest sprints to 60 miles per hour were achieved 0.6 seconds quicker than Volvo's estimated time of 6.9 seconds. While this performance isn't particularly groundbreaking by contemporary standards, it remains competitive within its segment. Tesla claims that its Model Y or WD delivering 47 horsepower more at 295 horsepower with identical torque at 310 lbfd, can accomplish the same feat in 6.6 seconds. Genesis, meanwhile, asserts that its GV60 standard RWD, with lower outputs of 225 horsepower and 258 lbfd of torque, can achieve a time of 6.5 seconds. We have yet to independently verify the accuracy of either manufacturer's claims. The 2024 XC40 Recharge Ultimate Single Motor doesn't exhibit the same aggressive launches typical of some electric vehicles, particularly those equipped with all-wheel drive AWD. Our testing revealed that the optimal acceleration was achieved with slight pedal overlap. While power delivery is instantaneous, the initial acceleration lacks the excitement one might expect. If you're seeking a more spirited driving experience, opting for the XC40 Recharge Twin Motor, with its 402 horsepower and 494 lbfd of torque, for an additional $1,750 might be worthwhile. Volvo claims the AWD version can reach 60 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds. Nevertheless, the XC40 Recharge Ultimate proves adept at maintaining highway speeds and overtaking slower traffic, although there are swifter electric SUVs on the market. Despite this, it still offers an enjoyable driving experience. Ride and Handling When maneuvering through turns, the XC40 Recharge's substantial weight becomes more apparent, affecting its handling dynamics. Both the Model Y and GV60 dual-motor models outperform it on the skid pad, averaging 0.85 G, and exhibit quicker performance in our figure 8 evaluation. In fact, the Tesla was 1.7 seconds quicker. However, it's important to note that these are AWD vehicles, generally boasting superior traction. Nonetheless, the XC40 Recharge RWD isn't far behind its competitors. Its suspension setup prioritizes comfort over razor-sharp reflexes, resulting in a ride that's neither overly stiff nor overly soft. Steering is precise, albeit a tad light, and the car maintains a neutral stance on the skid pad, allowing it to hold a steady trajectory. However, the inability to apply accelerator input until the steering wheel is straight detracts from the overall athletic experience, potentially posing an issue for enthusiasts. To one pedal or not, brake pedal feel tends towards the stiffer side, but remains manageable. Modulating the bite is straightforward, and performance remains consistent after a brief warm-up period. Our test stops consistently landed within 3 feet of our best effort of 122 feet. 
While the XC40 Recharge's braking performance is generally satisfactory, the Model Y achieves a similar stop in four fewer feet, while the Genesis GV60 requires an additional three feet. Volvo has tucked away one pedal driving controls within the depths of the infotainment interface, burying them under a couple of menus. Unlike some of its competitors, Volvo's system lacks extensive adjustability, offering only three settings, on, off, or auto. When left on, lifting off the accelerator triggers noticeable braking. According to Volvo, the automatic setting adjusts the stopping force based on the proximity to the vehicle ahead, but our experience revealed inconsistencies, occasionally necessitating manual brake application. As with most one-pedal setups, the learning curve is brief, leading users to either embrace it or disable it entirely without much further consideration. Living with it, our test drive of the 2024 Volvo XC40 Recharge Ultimate Single Motor showcased its utilization of an 82 kilowatt hours lithium-ion battery to power its rear motor. Volvo claims it can charge at rates of up to 200 kilowatts, achieving a recovery from 10 to 80 percent in 28 minutes. With an EPA-rated range of 293 miles, it surpasses the Recharge Twins 254 miles. Although it falls short of the Model Y or WD's 260 miles on 19-inch wheels, it comes close to the GV60 or WD's EPA-rated range of 294 miles. In terms of cargo capacity, the XC40 Recharge offers 21.7 cubic feet under its lift gate, slightly less than the GV60's 24.0 and significantly less than the Model Y's 30.2. However, with the rear seat stowed, the Volvo provides more room than the Genesis, boasting 57.5 cubic feet compared to the GV60's 54.7. Additionally, while it lacks the expansive frunk found in the Model Y, it still outshines the GV60, which doesn't offer one at all. Passenger space in the XC40 Recharge single lags behind its rivals, with less legroom both up front and in the back compared to the Model Y and GV60. However, it does offer slightly more rear headroom than the Genesis. The cabin of this luxury compact SUV, though not cavernous, exudes a sense of spaciousness. Enhanced by features such as the Ultimate's panoramic roof, 13-speaker Harman Kardon audio system, air purifier, and heated steering wheel, it provides a comfortable environment. Standard amenities across all 2024 XC40 Recharge models include heated front seats, auto-dimming mirrors, manual front seat cushion extenders, a wireless phone charger, over-the-air updates, and tinted rear side door and cargo hold windows. We're particularly fond of the map-inspired interior plastic trim adorning the front doors and dashboard of the Recharge. Dubbed Topography Decor by Volvo, it comes standard across the entire lineup. The gauge cluster display boasts a generous size of 12.3 inches with crisp graphics, although the 9.0-inch infotainment touchscreen may seem somewhat diminutive for a luxury SUV interior. In comparison to the Model Y sleek, almost futuristic interior, the XC40 Recharge offers a more conventional cabin layout, likely to resonate with a broader range of drivers. While Apple CarPlay is included, we opted to forego phone mirroring for the first time in years and exclusively utilized the XC40 Recharge's native Google-based onboard software. The experience was seamless, with Google Maps' public charger finding feature yielding excellent results. A four-year subscription to the digital services package is standard on the XC40 Recharge, providing access to Maps, the Google Play Store, and Google Assistant. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.